the world is warming at a faster rate than previously thought, and drastic measures are needed to cool it down, according to the new widely cited climate study. The report from the UN Intergovernmental Panel on Climate Change warned that the two-degree target set by the Paris Climate Accord of 2015 does not go far enough. Instead, the world needs to limit global warming to 1.5 degrees within 12 years. There will be 420 million people less suffering because of climate change if we would be able to limit the warming to 1.5 degree level and, and we have certain areas in, in in the world which are extremely sensitive it's uh, the small island states uh, mediterranean region and also sub-saharan africa which uh, which are already suffering and will suffer the most Today, the Earth has already warmed to one degree Celsius above pre-industrial levels, which means there's only about a half degree to go, half a degree that could separate hope from catastrophe caused by extreme weather, wildfires, droughts and floods, food scarcity and widespread poverty. The study involved 91 scientists from 40 countries analyzing over 6,000 scientific sources. It found that the difference of half a degree could halve the rate of habitat loss for animals, insects and plants, significantly reduce coral reef destruction and slow down the melting of Arctic sea ice. Limiting global warming to 1.5 degrees is technically possible, say the authors of the report, but it may be politically challenging, especially when major greenhouse gas emitting countries are not on board. The United States, for example, has withdrawn from the Paris Climate Accord and Brazil may elect a president who plans to do the same. Climate scientists say deeper cuts in greenhouse gas emissions are needed, as well as more investment in clean energy. A whopping 2.4 trillion US dollars in clean energy every year for the next 17 years to be exact, while also cutting the use of coal-fired power to nearly zero by 2050. This is our challenge. We, we produce today 85 percent of the, of the global energy based on fossil energy, coal, oil and gas and only 15% uh, uh, based on, on, on non-carbon uh, sources, uh, nuclear, hydro and uh, renewable. The scientists say it is now up to governments to decide whether to act. Leeling Tan, CGTN, New York.